Hey guys, Lazy Man here. And today we're going to be doing something, you know, just a little bit different than what I normally do. We're going to be looking at uh, a couple of the LCD technologies. What I have here is a couple of TN panels and a IPS panel. And I kind of wanted to show the real world differences uh, between these panels and kind of some of the things that bother me personally with TN panels as opposed to you know an IPS panel so anyway uh, let's go ahead and take a look at these a little bit closer and we'll see what we have alright guys let me start off first by just saying that anything I say in this video is my own personal opinion I'm not here to offend anybody or try to criticize anybody uh, for owning a TN panel but anyway now that that's been said let me tell you how this video came to be you know I was out looking for a inexpensive 24 inch monitor something that I could use in my mod room to test systems and you know do a little web surfing and after going through you know three different TN panels um, and having you know being very dissatisfied with the quality and the color accuracy and so on and so forth um, I had to bite the bullet and purchase an IPS monitor so anyway we're going to be looking at what I see as the differences in be between the TNs and the IPS's and uh, we'll let you guys make up your own mind. Alright guys, the first monitor I purchased was the LG 2286 LED monitor. And from the first time I opened this box, you know, I could tell that this thing was built on a budget. I mean, the stand for it was built so flimsy that if you happen to bump into your desk or move something on your desk, you know, the monitor had a tendency to wobble. And as far as the panel itself, uh, the colors are very vivid and very bright, but almost to the point where they're oversaturated. And I tried to adjust the settings in the OSD, and I could never obtain you know, a true accurate color. So with that, and along with the, uh, the quality of the base for the, for the monitor, you know, I was you know, quite dissatisfied. So anyway, I had to end up returning that one, and... Uh, Moved on to the next one. Alright, so this brings us to the Dell S2409W monitor. Uh, this is a 24 inch monitor with a resolution of 1920 by 1080. Has a 5 millisecond response time, 1000 to 1 contrast ratio, and the connectivity on this is HDMI, DVI, and VGA. Um, as far as the stand there it does not have height adjustment the monitor does not rotate and the base does not swivel it does the monitor will tilt back and forth but that's about it so now let's, let's go over and take a look at the Samsung alright now for the Samsung monitor this is the SyncMaster 2494 uh, very similar to the Dell we just looked at it also has a resolution of 1920 by 1080 also has a 5 millisecond response time uh, the dynamic contrast ratio is 50,000 to 1 and for connectivity this one only has DVI and VGA so there is no HDMI on this monitor however this monitor is about $50 cheaper uh, than the Dell but what this monitor does have that the Dell didn't have is it does swivel so not only does this one swivel and tilt, um, but it doesn't have any height adjustment and it does not rotate. So anyway, those are the two monitors we're going to be comparing to the Dell uh, U2410. So let's take a look at that now. Alright guys, this brings us to the Dell U2410 uh, monitor. And I'm going to cover this briefly because I'm going to go ahead and do a, a box opening and a quick overview of this one in a separate video. So anyway this monitor here is a 16 by 10 whereas the other two were 16 by 9. Um, this one is an IPS monitor where the other two monitors were the uh, TN panels. This one has a 19 by 20 by 1200 resolution, 6 millisecond response time, uh, 1000 to 1 contrast ratio or 80,000 to 1 dynamic. As far as connectivity, this monitor has practically every 
connection that you're going to need either now or in the future. Uh, real quickly, it has DisplayPort, HDMI, two DVIs, VGA, component, composite, audio out, USB, and it has a built-in card reader. And then as far as what the stand will do, uh, this one does it all. This one will tilt, it has a height adjustment, it will rotate, and it also swivels. So anyway, you probably asked me, you know, lazy man, why are you comparing this monitor to these two TN monitors? And I'm not trying to compare them as far as, to, you know, trying to show that this one's better, because obviously this one uh, is a much better monitor and it costs more and whatnot. My purpose here is to show you what you're getting for your money. So when we spend thousands of dollars on our rigs, and we're talking, you know, two, three, four thousand dollars on a rig, and we're going to buy a two hundred, two hundred fifty, a three hundred dollar, you know, TN panel monitor. I'm just trying to show that if we can spend that kind of money on our on our rigs, you know, we should put a little more thought into our monitors. And for you know, five ninety nine. Uh, this monitor isn't a bad monitor at all. So anyway, let me uh, kind of show you guys the differences that I've noticed with the two, uh, the different panels, and we'll go from there. All right, guys, this is what I like to call the white test. And as you can see here on this Samson monitor, I have what appears to be a white page. You say, lazy man, what do you mean a white page? That is white. Well, is it really? If we swing over to this IPS monitor, we can see what what white should look like and th then if we swing over to the Dell TN panel you know we're back to that light blue kind of color and what I've done here is taken a Google page and just stretched it across all three monitors uh, so we can compare the how these monitors represent white now if you just had this monitor here you wouldn't and had nothing to compare it to you may think that's white but it's really not so anyway, another thing you guys have to do is trust me that I have spent hours on these TN panels here, I have spent hours trying to adjust the settings to, to represent the most accurate color possible. And this is what I've come up with. As far as this IPS monitor here, this Dell, I've spent about 15 minutes on it. This thing came out of the box and the colors were terrific. A little bit of fine adjustments and it was good to go. So anyway, let's move on to the next test. Alright guys, for this test here we have the same what appears to be white screen and as I stand up slowly here you'll see this screen go from what looks like white to what is definitely a blue color. Well, that's from me sitting down at eye level to me standing up. And as you can see as I come back down you can see the colors shift again. Alright, so let's try this on the other monitor. Alright guys, this is the Dell IPS panel. And as I stand up here, you'll notice that the colors don't shift like they did on the TN panel. And I'll come back down. Alright guys, for the final test here, I've put together some color images. And to be fair, I went ahead and captured the same image on each individual panel and then rendered these on my 30 inch. So I'm not sure how it will come across on your monitor, but I suggest that you pause each image uh, so you can get a closer look. And this should give you a good idea. So enjoy.